What's up guys, Mad Mike Woodette here from New Zealand. We are back at the Goodwood Festival of Speed for 2017. Out of all the cars of the stables, we've actually probably got the hardest car to drive here for the weekend. With the driveway here at Lord Marches, it's very tight, it's narrow and very fast. And with the MX-5 with such a short wheelbase and so much grip um, and so much power, it's gonna be very challenging. But we're here to showcase drifting and this is like the perfect tool for it. I mean, this thing is crazy wild. We finished third in the World Drifting Championship with this car last year. Um, and I'm really stoked to have it up here in the UK for Goodwood Festival of Speed. Show you guys the excitement. Okay, so the first thing you can see is obviously a Mazda. It's a little MX-5, which, you know, from factory had no more than 200 horsepower. But this one, we've put two Garrett GTX 4040 uh, turbochargers on the side. So on like 19 pound boost, just shy of 1200 horsepower at the tire. So we run a Hollinger six speed sequential. Um, and also it's really crucial with the, with the rotary engine. It produces a lot of torque. We have 953 foot pounds of torque but it's at such high RPM. So it's crucial that we have a gearbox that's really cl close ratio. Um, but with the, the Hollinger, it's like a motocross bike. You know, it's kind of natural instinct and you don't even feel you're changing gear. The ratios are that close. We have a strong clutch, obviously a lot of clutch slipping, a lot of clutch kicking, uh, the modulation. So we run a direct clutch, which is out of Australia uh, with a sintered iron plate. So it's a, a triple plate setup. Um, so again, that has to be strong. From there, it runs into a drive shaft shop, carbon fiber drive shaft. So what we were finding with this much power and this much grip, we were snapping axles. The main shaft through the diff, we're twisting 180 degrees and snapping it. So now with this carbon drive shaft from the drive shaft shop, it actually, it's scary to think, but it has a twist which takes that shock load out. So since we've put that in, um, our axles last a lot longer and everything in the drivetrain in the back is, um, gets a lot more mileage out of it. So yeah, obviously safety is a huge thing with drifting when your speed's over 200 kilometers an hour. So if, uh, very intense roll cage. If you, we look to the outside, you can see the wheels, the aero. So we design all that with uh, Rocket Bunny. Again, uh, cooling. So you can see that we've got the radiator down the back here. This is all PWR product, which comes out of Australia. Same with the aero, the downforce. You can see the Rocket Bunny rear wing. It all has, it's all an aid for, for more grip. Carbon fiber doors. Again, you can see the intense roll cage here for again, just the safety levels. So another thing you'll notice on most of the drift cars is we'll run like a twin caliper setup. You have your normal caliper, which runs off your foot brake, um, and that's usually on a buyer's control, so you'll adjust like on your foot. That just applies my rear brake. You can see the lever of fever or happy stick as they, they call it over here in the UK. So that gives me a whole lot of control um, just by locking up the rear wheels with just slight modulation, uh, whether it's locking up to initiate the, the drift or you know when you're chasing sometimes, Different corners, different elements, I'm just trying to keep that proximity so you can stay door to door. So yeah, I mean, my trade straight out of school was uh, I did apprenticeship in sign writing and I still to this day love doing it. Don't have much time to do it, but I find the time to do it on my own stuff. So I get to design uh, all my own liveries um, through all the cars, my race suits, my helmets. We've printed onto blue chrome. You can see it's got some of the famous 787B stitching, which was from the Le Mans uh, winning Mazda. I feel like this car expresses my personality. It's wild and crazy and exciting and that's what, you know, from all these different cars we build and that's what I think is so cool about drifting is it's not about who's got the biggest budget and the fastest car on the day. You could have the least budget and, and still be a, a real showstopper and um, that's what, why drifting for me is really cool because it's easy for, you know, not just the younger generation but anyone that you don't have to have that, the, the huge bank account to be able to, to fund it. So yeah, that's a walk around, the little Rad Bull MX-5. Can't wait to get it on the hill for you guys. But again, thank you Goodwood for having me. All the way up here from New Zealand. We've got two really cool cars here this week and I can't wait to get out there and put on a show for you guys. Peace out.